I grew up playing Ocarina of Time and now you're hitting me with this? Oh my god. Today on Breath of the Wild. Yes, I know my friend applications are open, but you want to crush my bones. Like that's just like, that's not the kind of friendship I'm looking for. Today on Breath of the Wild. Oh, where are you going? You got no freaking head. Uh, today on Br uh, Breath, of Breath of the Wild. Name, name one more object that's more useful than a spork. Hi, today we're playing some more Breath of the Wild, and I- I need to get in the game, okay? How could you sleep at a time like this? Okay? I will surpass you. Whoa! God, he scared me. What is that jump scare? I feel like I've played this game long enough that I would just know how to not die or be murdered by freaking stupid snout creatures. <laughs> But I am just still so terrible at this freaking video game. <laughs> I know my brand in life is literally just being bad at Breath of the Wild. But really, I want to get in the game. I want to I wanna just actually get down the freaking skills to not be freaking <laughs> taken out of the sky by a freaking psychotic man on a horse who needs therapy. That's you, I'm talking about you, bro. I need to get to a higher plane of existence so I'm safe. I'm taking a break from riding horses. This is my no horse vacation. Also, I'm afraid that, I'm afraid if I ride a horse with a speckly butt that it will, it will end up not in the living world anymore. That means it will cease to exist. And that means I will have murdered it on accident. <sighs> so, I didn't want to bring it up, but last episode, was tragic. I thought it was bros before ho horses. Now that me and Gurgen are on a break again, I just thought, you know, I really need to work on myself. You know? I need to just work on myself. I need to climb the Zonai ruins. And I just... I just want to, you know, work on my muscle and really just, like, get better at Breath of the Wild, so that next time I see Gurgen, I can make him feel bad for for leaving me. If you didn't see last episode, my horse left me for a horse god. And I guess when you think about it, it's like how often do you get the chance to bang a god? But I mean, this thing's arms were floating in the middle of the air, or its hands were floating in midair. Like it didn't even have any arms. But we did accomplish something Pretty cool in the last episode here. Let's take a look. Look at this. Bam. The whole map. I have finally, finally. Oh, I forgot. I have to go, um, <laughs> I have been leaving. What's his name? The giant Goron baby kid. I forgot his name. He smells like freaking diapers and I got to go talk to him. He probably, hell, he probably gives me some special weapon, but, um, so on the way to this last tower that I got, I think that, so what was, what I did before, um, I went and brought Gurgen to the stable while I was off camera in the last episode, and I think I saw a memory around this lake, so I want to go smash a memory today. I think I'm ready to learn about Linkovich's past, you know, I think I'm ready to freaking dig up some of those old memories and see what it was like a thousand years ago when Link was in his prime time. As of right now, we have seen half, half of the memories. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I mean, I've made it through 50 episodes with, uh, half the memories, and now maybe the next 50 episodes are gonna be the next half of the memories. <laughs> 50 more episodes. Can you, could, could you even stomach 50 more episodes? No. Oh my gosh, that said Bridge of Hylia, and I saw, I thought it said Bulge of Hylia. Yo, speaking about bulges, that's the bulge of the lake. There's gotta be something there. Do you think we can make it there? Oh my gosh, I'm worried. Uh, I think I have stamina potions. So what happens if we climb up this big old tower here, and we glide onto that mysterious island? That sounds cool. Actually, we don't even need to get that high. Excuse me, peacock. <laughs> ah, I don't know. I don't really feel safe using Revali from this distance. Let, we'll, we'll go up to the tippy top. We'll go up to the top and then... I just want to make sure I'll make it. I don't want to freaking... 
drowned to death. I won't be able to complain about my horse leaving me if I, if I freaking take on a bunch of water and, and die. I want to name my next horse Spork. Because <laughs> sporks are the most useful utensil known to man. Name, name one more object that's more useful than a spork. You would think like, you know, a Swiss army knife. No way. Think about this survival situation, okay? You're trying to survive and not die. Lost, lost in a, in a continent. Lost on a tiny island like this, okay? And you can either choose to have a spork or a lighter. Come on. There's gotta be a shrine down here, right? Oh, I knew it. I knew there was a, sh a shrine on this in this little bulge. See, Gergen couldn't have made it over here in a million years. Okay. What? What? Horses can't fly like me. I can fly in this friggin' game. I'm sorry. I'm so salty about what happened last episode. I'll stop talking about it. I'll freaking grow up. I'll. I will grow up. It's not a, it's not a big deal. Like he can live his own life. And in this time, I'm going to learn to better myself. No, seriously though. I just, I really legit need to get better at this game. Look, a treasure chest. Let's go get it. Hopefully we don't get shipwrecked by any lizards. I do not. I've never trusted a lizard in my life. Look at him over there. He's trying to be so tough. You can't, lizards can't even grow beards. Well, unless they're a bearded dragon. But that's not a lizard, right? Yeah, that's 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 not a lizard. That's a dragon. Uh, oh, I guess I don't need to pull it out of the ground. It looks like it's half full. Oh, I love mimics. That's fantastic. Bro was going a thousand miles an hour. No one has time for that. Where'd he go? He just left me after all that. What kind of monster kicks a man's freaking kicks a man's? And then just skadoodles. He left all high and mighty like that? Like he just like got the high score at the arcade and just freaking headed out of here? Oh man, I want to go over there now. <laughs> this, is, this is the game. This game. Just I have things to do in this game. I have a whole list of things that I want to get done before the end of the let's play. And it's never going to freaking happen. Look at this. It looks so inviting. That's a place I want to be. Let's be safe and get our slippery freaking fish body on so that I don't freaking drown in this freaking gigantic lake. Speaking of fish, I have to finish the Terrytown quest and... Uh, okay, well, it's just another Korok. <laughs> uh, I need to finish the Terrytown quest and I need to get a priest-like fish. Who knew that fish were so good at reading the Bible? I... <laughs> I didn't even, I didn't even know that fish could read, actually. I still literally have this whole, like, I haven't really, I haven't explored this yet. And I still haven't explored any of Farron yet. Like, not off camera at all. I, I want to know what this weird little prison is. We all know aliens built that place. Aliens love their right angles. I don't know what it is. They love right angles. They love flying saucers. These are some pretty flowers. They love they love probing. They're kind of yeah, they're kind of a a jack of all trades. Oh gosh, dang it. No, 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 no. I'm not hanging out with the Those are the bane of my existence. Actually, 100%. I hate horseback bokoblins. And I said it already. This is a horseless vacation. Okay? Don't come and ruin my vacation, okay? I am using all of my paid time off. Wow. I've been playing this game so many hours now. I don't remember ever doing that shrine. Wait. That's the Great Plateau. <laughs> well, hey, seriously, I don't freaking remember. You know what's crazy, actually? This is something I was thinking about the other day. This right here is a bottomless pit. How fricked up is that? Like, it's, you, you know, like, you could explore pretty much everything in this game. But not down here. This is a freaking bottomless pit. Wait. Wait a second. What the heck is this? It's not a bottomless pit. Dude, that used to be a bottomless pit at the start of the game. 
Well, but the second you unlock a paraglider, it's not a bottomless pit anymore. That's cheating. That's not fair. This bottomless pit right here has claim claimed my life many times in the early days. Back in my Breath of the Wild infant infancy. There's gotta be something cool and groovy down here. There we go. See, see, I'm a I'm a natural secret secret sniffer. I sn I sniff them up. And I- oh my gosh, look at this secret. They placed this secret here just for me, just for Keegan. Ugh, just an amber. Really? No. There's gotta be a little Korok down here, right? Nintendo's in hot water. Nintendo is on my freaking on my naughty list. I have a naughty list. I write it down just in case I become Santa. You know? If you fall off- If- if I accidentally- This is a thing. So, if you want to become Santa, all you have to do, you actually go kill him. If you happen to kill Santa, you become, you become Santa. How, how, how about that? You kill Santa, you get his powers. You won't even have to drink beer every single day to get a freaking beautiful, a beautiful hairy belly like Santa Claus. You, they, you kill Santa, you get a dad bod for free. Where am I now? I'm just wandering. Am I, I'm in the desert now? Oh my gosh, I... I am not a fan of deserts. I don't like desert bats either. Who said you could come to my freaking bubble? I, I've got a nice bubble here that I want to, to keep untainted. All these bats are stalkers and they're not even ashamed of it. Great Plateau. I am not on the Great Plateau. I have to climb all the way up there. Look at that. That's the Great Plateau up there, bro. Don't you tell me where I'm not, game. Okay, now I got a giant great plateau in front of me and the memory I'm trying to get to. Don't you make me make a fireplace. I'm so sick of you guys. Oh, where you going? You got no freaking head. <laughs> where even am I? These trees are so weird. <laughs> They're so freaking... I mean... I mean, usually I'm fond of the thickness, but these trees are... Cr Whoa, these wolves. I forget there's different... Oh, who's the- who's that? Wait, what the f- What is that monstrosity? Is that a freaking jumbo-sized horse? No way. No way, that's like a- That's a freaking McDonald's Super Size Me horse. How did evolution let this horse exist? He's freaking- oh my god. Oh my god! I literally said just a few episodes ago, I feel like I've seen everything. Wow. That horse... Should we go for it? I mean, I can button mash. And I got stamina potions. Oh, okay. Let's... <laughs> oh, let's embarrass myself uh, for the freaking fifth time today. Imagine Gurgen comes home and I've got this big boy. <laughs> okay, I gotta remember what the soothe button is. Okay, what is it? Soothe, 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 soothe. Oh my god. I'm trying to button mash, but my, the, the controller's in my crotch. That is not the button I wanted. No, 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 no. Oh my god. I need more stamina. Holy crap. Uh, do I actually have stamina potions? I thought I did. Oh my gosh, I did a... Th that, this is... I kind of... These ones, there we go. Oh, wait, hang on. This gives me... Okay, there we go. Oh, that blasted me with two stamina wheels. Oh, you f- Well, it's not my fault I don't know how to press the, the minus button on my controller, okay? Okay, okay. Let's get this together. Our heart is broken. Okay. My heart is broken. I feel like I'm being freaking- Are you preying on me? Huh? I am the master of my own destiny. And I am failing. Oh, <laughs> bam. Okay, so we've got two, we got two whole gigantic yellow circles over there. And all we got to do is remember to press the plus or minus button. Is this freaking Ganon's horse? Gargantu Ganon? Oh my gosh. I just used my Revali. Oh, he knows, he knows we're onto him. Maybe. Maybe he does. Okay. Oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot. Oh, just landing on him nice and smoothly. Oh my god. I'm trying to button mash it. Ah! No, I got this. I got this. I'm smashing. I'm smashing. I'm smashing. Holy smokes. How much soothing do you need? Oh my god. 
Hopefully Witten did Okay, we're in the right inventory. Dude, this- Oh my god, I guess I suck at button mashing. <laughs> <laughs> it, uh, I could button mash up if it was a better button. The L button is in just a weird place and my finger likes to cramp up in that position. Okay. Okay. So we'll eat another one of these. Okay. Here we go. Let's, let's button mash better this time. And go. Go, Keegan, go. Press that button. Oh, I would use two hands. <laughs> Oh my god, come on, holy sh**, are you serious? What the frick, dude? I am in over my head. <laughs> I think this, this freaking horse has the Triforce of a freaking power right now. What the heck is this? I don't know, I don't know if we can, I don't know if we can do this. Come on. Oh my gosh, fingers, you gotta be better at, oh gosh dang it. Oh, <laughs> well then. We know there's a freaking giganimous horse here. I feel like I got drunk at a bar in Texas and they had like a giant bull that you can ride <laughs> and I got thrown off of it and now they're making fun of me on the local classic rock station. <laughs> okay, well that was useless. I just wasted I just wasted a bunch of 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 choice food, but it's okay. Link, you at least, your belly full. All right, let's go do what we intended. That's enough of My Little Pony. Well, My Little Pony, where is that guy? My big pony, my big pony. <laughs> we'll just find a good little shrine, Magnesis Shrine. See, it's right, um, I think it's here somewhere. Remember that one time, five, five, five seconds ago when we forgot about all the great times we had on this in the stasis trial that's literally like forgetting what your face looks like in the mirror <laughs> you know oh that's what i look like oh god how could i forget about the stasis trial you know that trial taught me to be a man yeah see uh the memory is in the picture in the picture uh that is in it so, I know it's around here somewhere, and I think I saw the glowing light somewhere. We're just gonna wander around this whole... We're just gonna wander around this whole little lake here. Maybe the Korok that lives in this little inlet... Or sorry, we call them bulges now. Uh, maybe the little Korok that's here will be my friend instead of Gurgen. I am... I, I am putting applications out for new friendship. I have totally been here before though. Hello? Anybody here? I'm very lonely and sad. Hello, great big pile of leaves. You wouldn't leave me, right? You're my friend. Oh, God. Oh, even the leaves leave me. It's okay. I'm allowed to make dad jokes. Because I have a child. You're my child. You're my son. Well, cool. That, I can't believe I've never got that Korok before. To be to be fair, I probably went here at the start of the game and had no clue that Koroks hid under leaves. So, where is this memory? I know what- oh, I think it's there. I think it over here. Teach me to use my own in real life memories to find a virtual memory. It just isn't gonna work. Are you a Talus? Oh, you are a Talus. I don't. I don't want to play with you, dude. Yes, I know my friend applications are open, but you want to crush my bones. Like, that's just like, that's not the kind of friendship I'm looking for. I want a friendship that's a little more symbiotic, like a man and his horse. So funny that in the horse-free episode, that's a deer, don't worry. In the horse-free episode, oh, we found the most gigantic horse we've ever seen in our- oh, there it is, right there. All right, I'm ready to see Zelda be very British. <laughs> I'm ready to see Zelda gaslight our poor boy, Link. <laughs> She's so mean to him. Link is such a nice- Link is just such a wholesome- he's such a wholesome guy. And I think- I think he deserves a little- a little cuddle. He deserves a little- Freaking, he does, or 
a high five or a cuddle. Look at that face. How could you say no to that face? Okay, I'll be quiet and I'll turn it up a little bit. We make our way to Goron City. Then we'll need some adjustments on that divine beast so Daru can manage it as easily as possible. He's figured out how to get it to move. However, it's apparent. Oh, Daruk knows how to get me to move. But to think that divine beast was actually built by people. That means we should be able to understand how it works and how to use it to our advantage. Oh, like how you He's use me to your beast. advantage? So much we don't know. But if we want to turn back Calamity Ganon, they're our best hope. The piano is so pretty in this game. Tell me the truth. How proficient are you right now wielding that sword on your back? Legend says that an ancient voice resonates inside it. <laughs> oh, I in killed that age. voice. Hero? I'm very proficient with my sharp, long thing. <laughs> okay, cool. That was a really, really short memory. Holy smokes. But I guess that's one of the memories you're intended to see. Like right off the I can see the great plat the great plateau is in the backyard of this memory. Cool, so I guess that was him with his master sword. Supposed 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 to be I make up my own words here. Supposed to be proficient with it. I'm not gonna dog on the the cutscenes. Oh the the Colosseum, we still haven't been in there yet. That's an episode. That's an episode, the Colosseum. Uh I'm still not dogging on the cutscenes, you know? But I hope that Breath of the Wild 2 has some more, like, I don't know, some more cinematic stuff. Like, doesn't even have to be, like, full-on, like, uh, super lore-filled or, or anything, but, like, some, like, more cinematic, interesting kind of stuff. Something a little more artsy or action-packed, I guess. Hey. Hey. Talk to me. Hey. <laughs> give me, uh, give me some... Give me some food. I wasted a whole bunch. Now, ah, okay. I do like being sneaky. God, what happened to your face? Oh boy. <laughs> God, that that chin he's got could freaking could cut diamonds. That chin was so so dang masculine. I feel like I feel like it goes about its own its own day, <laughs> doing doing its own stuff. That man's chin had a mind of its own. Well, if there's nothing going to be here at the ruin, then, then, uh, then don't, what is he doing? Why is your chin dominating that wheel? Hello? Oh, are you stealing stuff? Scavenging? The best part about scavenging is you never know what kind of crazy stuff you'll find if you poke around long enough. Busted Guardians, old ruins, it's just all a gizmo is and I got a gizmo. I'm telling you, just look at this man. He does not need to compensate. <laughs> that chin he's got is a best-selling author. Why is everyone getting attacked around here? What the heck's going on? You guys are fine. I actually can't help you. Leave me alone, I'm scavenging. I learned it from the chin man. I want to grow out a chin just like his. I want a big old cartoon chin. I feel like there'd be something here. You know, besides people being murdered. All right, on to the giant flashing yellow dot. Not that one. Where'd this one go? I need to go freaking check on this stupid- I need to go change this stupid baby's diaper. I just want to come check on the best character in Breath of the Wild really quick. I just- I need to come check- oh my god, I'm- oh my god. <laughs> Ouchie, it hurts. My freaking spleen is on fire. Cool, okay. I like it when I can just wear the pants. Cause I like to look cool. What's the point of playing this game if you don't look- Freaking, sh freaking schmexy. Schmexy is such a weird word. Pretend I never said that word. <laughs> Pretend I come up with much more interesting words than schmexy. Oh, there he is. I can smell the poop in his cowardly lion pants all the way from over here. Oh my gosh, that just makes you want to play Metroid Prime so bad. All right, poopy pants. I mean, coolest freaking character in the game. Oh, wow, you are so cool. I can't remember the voice I gave him, but I think it was small, right? Did I give him a small voice? Hey, brother, thanks so much for appeasing Rudania, Goro. 
I don't exactly know what you were doing in Rudania, but all I was doing was hiding from you. <laughs> well, it seems to have calmed down, Goro. Oh yeah, I, I, uh, I appeased that salamander. I know all about appeasing these big old robots, because I am full of the talent. You know, while I was up there, I could have sworn I saw Lord Daruk standing on top of Rudania. You didn't. He does not want to see you. <laughs> he would. No, he, he's, he's also avoiding you. I wonder, was that his g ghost? I don't know how to explain it, but somehow I feel a lot braver now. Don't lie to us. You're crapping your pants on the daily. Oh, that's right. I talked to boss about you, and he said to bring you to him. An order from boss can't be refused. Move it, Goro. <laughs> there he goes. Rolling out of my life. That's where I like him. All right, so there we go. Cool. I'll go up there sometime and get the, the divine weapon. I just wanted to make sure I got it out of the way first. Yeah, I'm not really much of a Goron stan, but I really like Daruk. He's cool. He's so wholesome. And he makes me feel, he feel, makes me feel like my heart is full of lava. In a, in a good way. Love you guys all so much. I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye. Goodbye. Next time on Breath of the Wild. I have a feeling one of us is going to get knocked down into this hole by the end of this. <laughs> Come here, buddy. Don't hide behind your little freaking blue square.